Hello everyone, it's such a funny day for me today. So I am, um, I honestly feel like I'm going into labour basically. So I felt it since yesterday and I'm desperate to hold out for another week because in, a, in exactly a week today I'll be 38 weeks and five days, which for me is like, I want to hold on to that. So I won't bore you too much and I guarantee that the baby is here whilst this goes out, I guarantee it. Um, it's probably going to come out after I film this video. I nearly just fell off this stool. Um, so yeah, I feel very funny, so bear with me. If you've had a baby, I mean, I've been speaking to so many of you on Instagram, so thank you so much for all the support and all the advice and all of that. You can do it, it means the world to me. So especially when I'm sitting here like, oh my God, is, is it coming? So um, I feel really excited, more, a lot, very nervous. And I've had some complications and a change in my birth plan. So I'm gonna talk about that after because this is the Chanel unboxing. So yeah, I've been in an absolute, I've been nesting for like a month and I did it in two homes and I've been a clean freak, poor Paris, I've made him do it with me because I just can't stand him sitting there, he has to do it. So everything's clean, hospital bag's been repacked and repacked again. So I just thought I'm going to film a video for you and crazy as it sounds, I'm going to go out, have a walk and I'm going to shoot three bags because I have three, only one of them is mine which I'll get to later. So I'm going to show you my new bag and um, the baby's so low I can actually breathe a lot better than normal. Um, I think the lack of breathing now is like a nervous thing. So just to be uh, clear on what's going on in this video, I have a beautiful bag to show you. Um, all disclaimers, this, this is not a sponsored video but all disclaimers about gifting or loans will always be in the description box below if you're unsure. Um, so I have a beautiful bag to show you, but when I went to collect it, we basically went in the car and then I kind of like got it from, from them, like that, because there was no point delivering it, it was actually safer for me to drive there and get it, and um, yeah, it was just a lot safer and a lot quicker because they're based in Chelsea and so am I. So um, there was two I was choosing between. The one that I have is the one that I've wanted for so long, and I asked the girls at Luxury Promise to keep an eye out for me. And without foul, they found it, like they always do. But they also had another one, and they were like, just check him, but do you like this one as well? And I was like, oh, I really like it. And because I have worked with them in the past, and I've actually known the owner of Luxury Promise for around 10 years, just from being in the luxury industry, both of us. So she trusted me to take the bag, let me play with it at home and see which one I wanted. So I'm going to show you that other one as well that I decided not to take. They're too similar for me to, to buy that second one. So I wanted to show you it because it is such an incredible vintage bag. It's like 90s special. If she hadn't have found the one that I wanted, I would have loved this. And actually, yeah, it's just amazing. So I borrowed it to see if I wanted that or the other one, but also wanted to show you it in the film. And then there's a third bag that I always get asked to sell and she has one in immaculate condition. It's like six months old. And I said, can I borrow this just to show everyone? Um, so let's get into it. Um, I've got this beautiful uh, Topshop outfit on, by the way. Should I quickly show you? You'll probably like, get the bag open. Um, isn't it lovely? Um, he's pretty big. And I've got these legging flares on, which are just the best ever. So I, I'm actually like, nearly 38 weeks and I think I look pretty presentable really and I'm super comfortable so this actually did come nicer but I've had it for a week now so this is my new bag this way oh I did it wrong <laughs> this way so do you know on the, off the top of my head I'm going to guess the date because I actually never researched it I'm pretty sure this is a 1994 and I'm obsessed with the Chanel Vintage, the quality, the 24 karat gold, the, the, the heaviness in the vintage bags. There's just no comparison, I'm mean, sad to say, but you can just feel the quality. Like with an Hermes bag, you can really feel the quality. You can feel it in, when, when, when you're just using it, and I love that about Hermes. 
and you have that with the vintage Chanel and I just love the lines on this it, I love the size it's not it's not a jumbo it's not a maxi it's just such a beautiful size it has the flap at the back so I saw this in LA in one of uh, a really famous vintage store and the price was extortionate and because I have a lot of contacts in vintage Chanel I knew I'd be able to get it for a better price and I just had to be patient and the price at Luxury Promise was not quite half price but pretty much half price of the, when I'd seen it before and I've only ever seen it once before and the other bag I'm going to show you is the same price so um, it comes with a dress bag take all this out and it's just such a beautiful size I've got a classic flap which is, was my first ever Chanel bag um, I'll pop a picture here it's just the, the classic flap um, what you would say is the medium size and I love it that it's probably not quite double but I just love that this is so wearable for every day and it's got nothing in it now but it's just so wearable I'm sure you can let me off this time for not like jumping around and moving positions but it's just the most amazing size for me to wear every day like really fit a lot of things look how immaculate the corners are and I only asked I only asked like she promised this like probably about three months ago so if you do if there is something that you want whether it's an, a new Hermes bag or if it's a vintage piece or you know it doesn't even have to be Chanel ask them ask them if they can source it I shared the most incredible Hermes constant bag the other day on my Insta stories it sold in 15 minutes it was stunning it was an Etan Constance um, Hermes Constance and it was immaculate and it was cheaper than retail and it was so amazing and then I had a follower say that she a follower on Instagram that said that she was too late and went to buy it so she just put her in a quest to find it again so uh, luxury products also take bags um, like and sunglasses and jewellery and they, they give you cash or in exchange so that's really really good to know but the, the USP from other pre-loved stores is that they actually source their own things which is incredible like that is a really amazing amazing factor that they offer that they actually source their own things so they will source brand new Hermes bags they will source the most incredible they have a vintage a vintage Chanel specialist there Winnie that I've actually known for years as well and she she really knows her vintage her Chanel vintage so if there's anything you want to know about Chanel Vintage, I mean, you can ask me, but you can also ask Winnie at Luxury Promise as well. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the USPs, that they actually source their own things. They don't just buy into customers. So that's my new bag. I'm so happy with it. And this is the other bag. Can I reach it? That they said, do you want this one? Oh, God, it looks so good. Do you know I'm not 100% sure now? I thought I was sure, but I'm really not. The only thing that's making me not go for this one is that I have the XXL Classic Flap. If I didn't have that, I, I might even take this, you know, because I just need, I look at that. Look at what a statement that is. And then this is different. It's not got the, the love note flap at the back. It's like all the way across, and this is obviously chevron. This is lamb, this is caviar, so the chevron's a bit bigger. See, every so slightly bigger. Oh, I see, this is why I wanted to show you it. So I think I'll take the other one purely because it's the one that I've been looking for, and I have the XXL. And it's so hard, I really thought I'd made up my mind. Let me know which one you prefer, but maybe I have already chosen, or maybe I could resell this back and get that one, I don't know, but um, she has two of these for sure, so even if I take this, they do have two of these big chevron ones. How insane is that? And with the increase at Chanel, and a maxi bag being the same price as an Hermes Kelly basically, you're much better off getting this because the price is amazing. Like. It's 4700 for a medium Chanel bag now. 
That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, yeah, so they're the two. If you love the Chevron one, she definitely has another one. They, I should say, have another one. And if you do like this one, I'm sure they can get you another one. Not like that, because this they're, they're both so rare. But for me, this is so 90s. Just perfection. Like, imagine, gee, even what I'm wearing now. Oversized blazer. Who in earth? Is that Shaluli waking you up? Um, I totally forgot what I was saying, but favourite era of Chanel. Favourite bags from Chanel, so I'm really happy that I've, I've got hold of those. Um, oh, what a tough decision. Well, I'm going to go out later and take a picture and then see which one I like best. But this is the XXL I'm going to show you. I've also been playing with this one as well. So this is one of my favourite Chanel bags that I own. The Classic Flap XXL. I absolutely adore this bag. It was so expensive. It was just under £6,000 and I bought it quite a while ago. I'm terrible with dates. Sometimes I say dates and, and you'll say in the comments, no, you got this in so-and-so. And I'm like, oh yeah, I did. So I think I got mine at the beginning of 2018. Could have been 2017. I really don't know. I do know it was the first one ever released because they do release the XXLs, but they're normally patterned. Um, and the newer one, because this is actually only a few months old, check with Lux who promised the exact date, but the newer one, they do two different sizes. So this is ever so slightly smaller than mine, which you can't tell the difference, but it's literally just a classic flap. The most amazing travel bag. I'll put up a picture of mine here, because obviously I don't have it with me here at the moment, but um, they're quite light. They're surprisingly quite light. They're not structured. And I was literally wearing mine walking around Paris. So, and I'll put up pictures of that exact time I was wearing it. I wear it traveling, especially like on the Eurostar going to Paris. Um, and especially with the baby now, I can like almost just, well, I can definitely fit everything. So the XXL has the zip at the front, which I use all the time. I always put um, my passport in there. And then it has two big compartments and then lots of pockets within the compartments. And then it has this thing here, which I have never used. Um, but it's such an amazing bag. I always get asked to sell mine and I always just reply saying, never. I remember when I went to buy it, I was like, God, this is so expensive. I can't even imagine how expensive they are now because I, I'm pretty sure mine was 5,800. I'm sure, I'm certain. So I remember it being nearly 6,000, but I don't know, I'm used to this with with numbers, uh, remembering numbers. So they have one of these. I almost have a feeling that they have two, but I'm not sure. So I just said, can I borrow this? I'll pop it back tomorrow and just show you because they don't always have this. You're gonna get this for an amazing price. She's only just got this in. It's not even on the website. I've stolen it before. It hasn't even got a price yet, so I can't even tell you the price. But for those of you that love my XXL, I can't recommend this bag enough. It's completely immaculate. So all the details you'll have to ask them, but I love mine. I use it traveling, I use it in the day. It's a lot of people give me grief saying this is so heavy. And I'm like, no, it's not. You clearly haven't even, even tried it. They've been really clever with this design because it's not, it's not heavy whatsoever. These ones are more heavier. So yeah, I wanted to show you that. Get in contact with them if you would like that one. And that's it basically. Let me know if you what one you think I should get I mean I'd love them both if this was another colour one of these were another colour I would without a doubt have both without a doubt but it's silly me having the XXL and both of these this one looks beautiful though doesn't it I love how statement it is I'm gonna I'm, the only way I'm going to make a decision is uh, maybe if you help me and if I take photos so yeah let's do a little done now I had an ASOS delivery today and I have not bought anything from ASOS for in forever forever I'm going to show you so I was looking for something for my sister's wedding for bridesmaid dresses 
and um, I just went in the search bar. I never go in New Inn. I actually avoid New Inn because then that, that's when you're going to run into everyone having the same thing or typing exactly what I want. So I love the colour lemon. So I just typed in lemon and oh, I'm quite impressed with these. Wow, they are big. A sauce design. Wow. UK 10, they're huge, so I would go si uh, down a size in these. But how lovely are they? This, the most beautiful lemon colour. I would wear that with that and a black leather jacket. I'll probably shoot it like that, but they, they're really soft inside, beautiful colour, pockets, comfy. I'd wear them with like sliders or you know, the obvious trainers, but they're really, really nice. Just typical ASOS, but a really good pair of um, joggers. I had a feeling these were going to be really good, so I'm really happy with these. And this is my next one. Wow, this is heavy. So I'll try and hang this up. There's no way I'm going to be able to try this on, no way. Because I, I bought my twitter size. So I bought it for like after the baby. This is such a me thing. It's pearls, and I kind of, I don't know where pearls come from, but I got married in 2015, and I had a jacket like this, and I made my own wedding dress, and it was covered in pearls. So I didn't realise this cut out, so I I'm just going to start again. Whew. So I think I was saying how I got married in 2015. I got a pearl dress that I made myself, and pearls were not a thing at all. I've always been obsessed with pearls. So I kind of avoid them a bit now. I'm waiting for them to like go off trend. But I was looking for something on ASOS for my sister's wedding. And I saw this. It was a bit pricey. But seeing it now and how heavy it is and how beautiful it is, I would honestly pay three times the price. It is extremely heavy. Look at the detail. This and this huge drape sleeve. It's so beautiful. I can't try it on because it is my true to size. But I have my dress rule, that if you see a good dress, just buy it. Same goes for a pretty blouse, just buy it. Because now when I next have a, an event, it's a shame I won't be able to wear this to a wedding. Because, I mean, what an amazing wedding if you had a registry of this. Or, I mean, I would even say like a normal full-blown wedding. So I always avoid buying fancy white dresses because you can't wear them to a wedding. Some do, unless, they're, unless they, um, the bride doesn't mind or it's a white wedding. But... Yeah, if it was in baby, any colour but white, I would have preferred it because then I can get the use out of it. But any nice dress, just buy it. And if, if you don't wear it for another year, great, because then you know that no one's going to have it, nor that it's a problem if that happens anyway. It's not the end of the world, but it's nice when you're the only one at a party wearing that dress. Um, I keep saying, um, I'm losing my train of thought because, you know, I've got this labour at the back of my mind. <sighs> I just panicked then, like, thinking what, what's happening, I should stop filming. Okay, now I'm really throwing myself. Yes, this is an amazing dress. It looks true to size. I will link it below because I think it will sell out very, very quickly. This, These kind of things always do. You can see it on the model because you can't see it on me. I'll try and hang it up and film a cutaway for you. Definitely looks true to size. Um, and if you ever see a dress, it looks very 1920s, doesn't it, with my lamp in the back. But if you ever, God, I can't imagine that would ever fit into something that small again. I hope so. God. Um, yeah, so everything I will link below. Bags and all luxury promise information I will link below. Um, I bought these. And the yellow joggers. Wow, that is so heavy. Um, and I'm going to hopefully try and film me wearing these bags now. So I'll leave you that at the end. If there is no more in this video finishes, I'm really sorry. It just means that I either went into labour or I just wasn't up to it. Um, but yeah. Um, just my mind's all over the place but I wanted to show you my new bag wanted to show you the other two that is that are available because I know that if you love what I love which I know you do you're going to love them one I already have it's my favorite bag the other one's very similar to the one I just got two amazing ass off pieces which is random I just wanted to show you so I'd love it if you would subscribe um, I'm pretty certain the baby will be here do you know what I think the baby will be here by one day if all goes to plan next week, the baby will be here for two days. He'll be two days old, I hope. I hope it all goes well.
Okay, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Oh, I actually have another Chanel unboxing. I think I'm gonna film it now. Ready for like in a couple of Sundays time. And I just shared an unboxing, Hermes unboxing video, which was last week. So if you didn't see that, I'll link it below. Okay, I'm going. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.